Good afternoon everybody, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. Good afternoon. Alexa, what's the time please? It's 1.11pm. 1.11, 1, 1, 1. Good afternoon everybody. It's getting noisy outside for some reason. It sounds like either someone's groundscaping um, or drilling down the bottom of the road. I've had to shut the window. It's a really, really vibrating, loud noise coming from down the bottom of the road because we've got construction workers. They're building flats right down the bottom. Um, eventually, I'll be able to walk from Rochester to Chatham. Um, so, here am I, a middle-aged woman just sat in my flat by myself which I have been since I came back this morning I'm trying to learn Polish I'm writing in my journal and I'm happy I mean I don't, I, I don't know what all this is I really don't like, I cannot have peace in my own flat I've had to shut the window because of the noise again and it's incredibly hot it's very close Alexa, what's the humidity? Currently, the humidity is 93%. It's 93% the humidity. I can't breathe. And now there's a load of noise down, down, the, down the road. And it's terrible having to shut the windows in the heat. It makes me feel like going to sleep. I don't know if anybody else is having the same feeling but when it's this hot I just feel like falling asleep I tend to splash myself with water and spray water on my face to keep myself awake and to have to shut the windows because of external noise coming from outside is awful um, I haven't been out since I took the dog for a walk this morning and I take the dog for the walk in the afternoon and that noise is horrific Reminds me of what I went through a few years ago, sat in this place trying to think. I'm trying to learn Polish here. I'm about to get up and shut the window. I'm not interested in what's going on outside. I'm interested in what's going on in my life, not in other people's. No, I am to a certain extent. I mean, I give to charity. I support multiple sclerosis charities. I support cancer charities. I give to charity, I try and raise money for charity. I'm, I'm talking about what the, some people are doing to try and get me to look out the window. And I don't do that anymore. I've got, I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm putting energy into positive things, not negative ones. So I am learning a language. And as for the nasty things that are going on, they're being documented in the journal because I am um, trying to compose it's a sort of dossier of what's been going on since I've been a child and how I'm not allowed to lead a normal life. And I'm going to send it, recorded delivery, to the Home Office. It's absolutely disgraceful that you can't sit in your own flat and, and just write or read or, or just it's it's awful and it doesn't not just happening to me it's happening to other people I mean seven years on the Grenfell Tower in London these poor people haven't got justice uh, for their family members that died right and there's a lot of other people that have, have died not getting justice for family members that have died. Um, it's just dreadful. So I can still hear that horrible noise through the window, even though this window is shut, but there's nothing I can do about it. It doesn't make me cross, it actually makes me feel ill. Perhaps they're trying to make me feel ill again, so I stop writing. Usually when I write, write the diary, um, basically there's a, a load of, I start to get sick and ill so I can't write it. So, 
where are we up to? So my mum rang at 11.17am. I can't ring her back because I haven't topped up my phone. I haven't. So I can't, I, I now can't hear the voicemails that she's left. Whether that's a good or bad thing, I don't know. And then I've been looking at the followers on my TikTok, mine Crystal's TikTok. And Blackie Boss, this is exactly how, how, what his YouTube is, Blackie Boss, Elon Musk, XXX6P, started following me on TikTok after my mum rang at 11.17am. Blackie Boss. So I started also doing my polish and i've learned animals i can actually do basic sentences it's like going back to school when you start to learn english but i'm trying to learn polish um so her barter is tea um and I'm just trying to concentrate and I've had to shut the window now I feel like I'm burning up with heat because there's a horrible noise outside. Pomiador is a tomato, miso is meat and sock is juice. Sock is juice. So I'm learning food in Polish. So we've gone through um, you, me, she, he, woman, man, child, children. Um, so I, I'm coming along. This is my little book that I write my... Um, this is what I'm doing to write my Polish. And I'm, I'm, I'm doing quite well, I think, on my own without any interference from other people. Just one other thing. Now, you cannot get rid of outside it, it, interference. You can't get rid of it. You just have to learn to live with it. The noise, the nuisance. And I try to not stay outside for too long. So, <laughs> they, these pests, these sex pests, they find ways to try and manipulate and control and however much you try and break away from it they try to pull your strings like a puppet so you know I've done videos of going into Rochester library and I've shown you that I cannot sit down in that library and read a book in peace so why are they trying to lure me into the library? Because I won't sit in there. I don't, the Rochester Library is not like Chatham Library. I used to live in Chatham and the library was a lot different. They, it, was a, it was a bigger space and um, I just don't find Rochester Library a, a place where I want to sit anyway. So I went to renew my library books this morning and apparently someone is desperate for this book here. So of course when you go into your emails and you get an email saying that I can't, um, I, I've got to bring this book back next week. If somebody desperately wants this book guys, right, and if you look at it, the last person that took this book out before myself was on the 3rd of May. So someone is desperate for this book, even though it, you know, no one has wanted it for months. They are now desperate for this book. So I've got to go to the library next week just to take one book back. And I've been told to ring ring the library if I want to discuss it further 
And usually you get a woman on the phone, a female, so we won't discuss it further. We'll take this book back. In fact, I'm thinking of taking all the bloody books back and not getting any more out so I don't have to keep going to the bloody library just to take one book back. And as you know, when I walk in the library, it, it's like a comedy performance, like I'm walking into the co-op. I don't find it interesting, I don't find it a peaceful place uh, to study. It's noisy, where a library should be quiet. So that I'll just, all I'm going to do, right, is take that book back and come home. I'm not wandering down the high street when I've got to be careful with my money. Right? I'm, I'm, I'm sick and tired of it. Trying to lure me to go and get some money from my mother. Right? So that I can... No, you can have your bloody book back. You can have it back and I'll go straight back home. can have your book back, but you can keep it. And the other books have been renewed for, an, for, a, new, for, for a few weeks longer. But um, when I was a kid, I used to like going into the library. When I was in Chatham, I used to go into the library a lot. But what's going on here? I, I don't enjoy it. It's, it's just too noisy. And I used to... Um, have trouble in Chatham Library. I used to be bullied in there and um, you know I used to ring the police because um, I was threatened in the library once. They didn't do anything then. So I've got to go all the way to the library just to take a book back because I don't sit in there. You can't. It's, it's noisy. Um, obviously there's a load of drilling and noise going on because I've got to take my dog for a walk this afternoon and I'm a middle-aged woman um, going through the menopause. I'm feeling tired. I don't really, I, I don't know what this is. I don't understand. I don't understand. Having to call me names take the piss out of me to make horrific noises just to create a reaction. I feel sorry for them because all that happens is I shut the window and I wait for the noise to stop then I'll open the window and, and I'm just getting on with my Polish and writing my journal. They don't like you to... I mean, I'm not speaking it out loud. I'm not telling anybody what they're doing. I'm writing it down and I can't even do that in peace. I mean, really? <laughs> well, they shouldn't do bad things. If they don't want me to write what they're doing down, they shouldn't do it, should they? If they stopped doing it, I wouldn't have anything to write down. So, for lunch, I've had Swedish meatballs. Swedish meatballs. I'll tell you what, it's even hard to eat with that noise going on. It's horrible. Fray Bentos chicken meatballs in Swedish-style gravy. That's what I've had for lunch. They looked anemic. A meatball usually is brown. And it's like got tomato sauce and they're quite dark. But these looked anemic. The gravy looked white. But they tasted really nice. So I've eaten my lunch. And with the humidity that it is, it's best to drink lots of water. Because you get tired and feel like flaking out. So I'm going to get on with the rest of my day by myself doing my own thing. I am not interested, I'm not interested in meeting anyone.
Just want to be by myself and left alone. See you later.